how to give my poor dog some one-on-one because he been sad since yesterday. He been, you know, kind of moping. So I said, let me just get him his own little time. We just gone for a little walk this morning, him and I and Dirty. But uh, he needs a, he needs a little encouragement. He needs a, he feeling some kind of way. I haven't seen him, like, I haven't seen him. I knew he would be emotionally, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times when I take them around people, they'd be so full of emotion from all the love that they receive, then they'll go home and they'll just relax and they'll be like in a, in a, a state of harmony, like a, a harmonious state. So when I knew he seen Drew, he was so happy. He probably been, he, I mean, that's real. He was very happy. Like I haven't seen him that happy in a while. And um, so ever since he came back, he's been just kind of like moping around and just laying. Like when we just got back from my walk, he just went to the kennel and just flopped down and just laid down. I'm like, oh my God, he feels some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, I'm gonna call Drew this morning and chop it up with him. Because you know, dogs sense stuff, dogs sense, you know, your health and all that type of stuff. And I'm gonna let him know that, you know, this dog cares for him. And uh, Drew has been a respectful person towards me, kind to me, and stuff like that. And I know he's been kind to others, you know what I'm saying? I just want to call him and remind him to be kind to himself, to love himself and fight back for his life and fight for his health. Because if something as simple as a little animal that we don't be giving credit to can be heartbroken when they're not around people that they love, you know what I'm saying? People could be heartbroken as well. And sometimes people just need to know that um, someone cares for them. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's Everybody is so concerned about their own thing where they don't make time to let someone else know that they care for them. I got you, buddy. Uh, dirty quiet. You know, so I like, let me just sit down with him and kind of help transfer his mood a little bit because he, he's down. I might, hopefully, I'm not even going to say what I might do today. Just in case I don't do it, I could have a lot to do today. But I also have another way to help build up his energy, build his spirit back up. So we'll see what the day uh, allows. But that's, you know, animals, they, they, they communicate. I remember when I was sad, going through breakups or whatever, and um, <clears throat> he would get up and, and put his head right in my lap, you know what I'm saying? Trying to comfort me so when, when our animals are sad, we gotta, we gotta return the favor. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're so intelligent. They're so intuitive, you know what I'm saying? And uh, and that's just that, man. Try to soothe them because you know dogs can dogs can die from broken heart too. Dogs can get sick from stress. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want my dog to be broken hearted. But he loved his previous master, obviously. And I know he's probably since, you know, just like we can see, you know, Drew, he's he's wrestling with something where he's putting on some weight. And, you know, they say dogs can smell different stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, look, we don't know what he's what he sensed. But whatever it is, I know he missed Drew. I know he loves Drew. And uh, he hasn't been the same since he came back home. So he need he he need to be cared for and comfort too. 
Just like we as humans need to be comforted. Dogs need to be comforted at times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me stop this video.